Big on the 12, I'll be away So we just got to Slough, which is where we've just dropped the car off and we're just waiting for our pickup to take us to Terminal 4 and from there we go on to Paris. Paris. We go into Paris and then we'll get our second flight, which is the longer one, on to Tokyo. We out here. We got this. We got it, right? We got this. We got this. This is my friend Fatma, by the way. I haven't even introduced her. But I travel everywhere with her. Everywhere. You'll get to know soon. Get to know. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll catch back up on the flip side. Okay, good morning, guys. So today is day two. While it's technically, I'd say it's 1.5 because we had half a day yesterday. Um, and today we're going to go to, where are we going? Team, team Lab, which is like a really cool um, light exhibition museum type thing. So I'm quite excited for that. We actually went there yesterday, but that is a very long story. Like, I was really that woman that was like, can I speak to your manager, please? Yep. So they brought out the lady who was actually really lovely. Um, and they basically like put us our tickets over for today so we're gonna head down there today it's it's what's the time like 10 30 yeah. so we'll get there for 11 30 and we'll see what happens there after that we've got a few things planned so we'll take you along with us and see what we've got for our technically first day of Tokyo so yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All it takes is one flight. We be in the same time zone. Looking through your timeline and seeing all the rainbows. I I got an idea. Sounds crazy, but I just wanna see ya. Oh, I gotta ask, do you got plans tonight? I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan tonight. I was thinking I could fly to your hotel tonight. Cause I can't get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. I can feel the tension We could cut it with a knife I know it's more than just a friend Harajukim and we're looking for the monster cafe they got some pretty cool foods there but we've just like stopped off because these streets are pretty cool like they're so sick okay, let's go it's big on the 12 of you
over with the underground, whatever they want to call it. And we have just got to Shibuya, which is very busy. It's basically like Tokyo's, oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> it's basically like um, Tokyo's Times Square. It's basically like that, but like on 10. This road. People like run it, look at my bushes. I get scared. But yeah, it's a bit mad. It's a bit mad, guys. The London's out here trying to keep warm and try not to get the coronavirus because we're not trying to get ill like that to take back home to London. It's nuts. But yeah. <laughs> just show you guys what snacks of crisp they have at the moment I don't know if that looking at something something of the sort but here we are I don't even know but it's like moist rice cracker chicken rice taste and then they've just got like loads of different flavors sweet sauce Ooh, killer. Yeah, we're doing just a casual look. So I have on my cozy fat mark, which is lit. Look at this, and it's got a bit of mandarin. Mandarin. And it's so comfortable. I feel like I can rely on this to just keep me warm. And it's kind of cold outside. So yeah, this brand is Fat Mart. We out here. It's proper nice too, and it goes with my coat. This coat is literally my fit for Tokyo. Actually, the whole trip. Because it's just so warm and cozy. So yeah, this is me today. Do you got plans tonight? I was hoping I could get us in your paradise The only thing I'm thinking about is you and I Cause I can't get you off my mind Can't get you off my mind Can't get you off my mind Let's get lost Right, so I'm just checking the waters. Do you guys recognise this drink? Because I've been abroad a few times and they usually charge in restaurants with some dumb ass prices. And it's actually 128, which is like a pound. Ridiculous, because they, they're actually charging us extortionate prices. They've got Evian in here, which is a bit more expensive. But you know, I'm just so surprised by that. Just making it fresh, guys. Everything here is fresh. Oh my days. So guys, we are at the Sensoji temple. Yeah. And it's raining. How do you feel about that? How Great. do you feel about that? I love it. But it's a pretty sick view, look at that. And there's that as well. The five story it's really sick. pagoda. But I'm not gonna record too much because I'm scared my camera's gonna get wet. And up here as well that building. and there's loads and we've gone to the low port one lovely so and then I'm gonna get some extra noodles should I get extra beef and some lovely extra green onion. Should I get it? Get it. And some. I didn't even see that one there. But that's my tickets. Yeah. Thank you. Amazing. 
we have to um, circle our preference for what we want, basically. So I'm gonna season in stock. I'm gonna do medium, because I'm not too sure on that. Richness. Are you gonna beef yours? I've got, I've got extra beef bread. Oh, so weird. A few moments later. Give her my mouth, it's that small. Mm -hmm. So give my mouth, it's that small. Oh, my day is fresh. Ramen. Fresh ramen. Did it get any better than that? I know I look clapped, but I've been waiting the last three days for this meal, and we got really upset because we, when we got here, they were just like, nope, we don't take card, we just got cash. And it's our last day here, so we were just like, okay, well, we've only got a card. But luckily there was a 7-Eleven next door and here we are. We're about to taste this deliciousness. Yes, fat love? Yes. 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 <laughs> Thomas said this is the best ramen she's ever tried. I'm not even being dramatic. This is too good. Too good. I asked for extra beef and green onions, so I'm going to pour this in there now. Actually, I'm going to not all of the beef. Alright guys, so we are about to head out to South Korea, so we've got a flight in a few hours. Um, but before I head out, I just want to give you a few tips on what to bring with you and what to do. Just some advice if you were to come to Tokyo, because it took us about half a day to realize what we needed like transport wise and all of that um, so I have here Suica, the Suica card which is basically a oyster card and it's sick like the first day we were just getting random tickets and it was other than taking up our time it was just inconvenient because we were staying for so long if you're staying more, for more than one day then I'd suggest this for sure you can t top it up on the app and all of that. It's really handy. So that's the so we get card. We also use City Map, I believe it or not. And you can literally like use this anywhere because I rely on this in London. And I realised like if you just navigate to settings and city, you could just see the city. It's literally gonna give you all the options. So luckily I can use it in Seoul and all these other places if you were to be going there. How sick is that? So that was really handy because we have been relying on that. On the underground, you can connect to the Wi-Fi, so it's quite handy, well, in most places, which is what we were doing. Another thing I suggest is that if you do come to Tokyo, plan your days in advance. We kind of didn't, like prior to getting on our flight, but we did every night for the following day which is really handy because then we can work out where we're going from A to B and it's a lot easier than just standing in the tube station and being like what the f what the hell what the hell so yeah definitely plan in advance at the point of traveling there's the coronavirus going around in China we were quite worried about coming here with that but obviously if you take precautions you should be fine and anyway most people are here one thing that we have learned is that Tokyo is so bloody clean it's so clean I had this bad boy so we bought these before coming out on Amazon which it literally like it's full coverage it covers everything so the only thing is a girl be out of breath it's fabric it's really like, it's not the best. I don't think this is the correct fabric for the use that it's supposed to be because it's quite suffocating. These bad boys I've had since I went to Taiwan a couple years ago. You can tell they're a lot lighter. This is what we're supposed to be wearing. So we had these. How cute are these? No wonder he was wearing this one, Papa. This one's so much easier. I stuck to this one because 
I don't even know. I, it probably didn't help me yesterday because I actually had a panic attack on the train. I'm not bad when it comes to traveling, so this was really quite surprising. It didn't help with my panic attack because I had to, we had to get off three stops early. It was like super hot. I had to take off my coat. I almost laid down, which is really gross, on the seat and family was like, no, don't lay down, don't lay down. I was like, okay, cool, I'm not gonna lay down, but this ain't good. This ain't good. But anyway, we've got to head out. Fatma's ready. I'm really not there yet, but we're about to go. So we'll see you on the flip side.